Hi, hi, hi! The city on seven hills, the third Rome, not made of rubber, etc, etc, etc. That is Moscow, the capital of Russia. To tell everything about it, it should be a movie, even a series. But we will fit it in 10 minutes. Moscow was founded at the place of the confluence of two rivers, Moskva and Neglinnaya, officially at 1147, the first mention in the annals. But archaeologists, you know they're always seeking have found some remnants of nomads who were hunting and fishing here 4,000 years ago. No one knows by sure what does the name Moskva means, but linguists lean toward the version that this finno ugric word means winding, and that is a quiet description of this river. And later, the city was called after it. A hundred years later, the city became the capital of so-called Grand Duchy of Moscow that united all the nearest lands. Uh, skip 800 years more, and now it's host the World Cup 2018. It's first match and the final game. Let's check it out! Luzhniki Stadium. World Cup 2018 is gonna begin here, so with this episode. First, firstly, a stadium here was built at 1956. Curious that materials were kept here from different parts of the country. From Leningrad, Armenia, Ukraine, Latvia, Lithuania, Belarus and even Siberia. 1999 it hosted UEFA Cup final. 2008 League Champions final. But the most memorable moment in its history happened in 1980 at the Olympics closing ceremony. From 2013 to 2017, it was reconstructed especially to this World Cup, as the whole area around it. You should visit it. Quack? No, I haven't imitated the frog. Power Quack is a bar on 2 1 Pokrovka Street. It is Belgian, therefore there are classic beer and waffles. It doesn't stop on this. Kitchen here combines Italian, French and American. Rustic interior, rare for Moscow, acceptable prices, tasty food. Come out and try it. Belgium in Moscow is not only in this bar. National team with Azar, Lukaku and De Bruyne prepares to the World Cup near the Russian capital. Their base is the Moscow Country Club in Mahabina village. By the way, as much as 10 teams live near Moscow before the main tournament. Three of them in Himki area. Underdog squad Peru lives in Sheraton Hotel near the Shermetyo airport and train at the Himki arena. Some team will even train like in pairs. For example, Mexico, with its 39 years old Senator Rafa Marquez and 2014 miracle maker keeper Guillermo Ochoa, will even prepare to the World Cup across the street with the home country team. Himki, A. Sokolovska Street, Mexico. 7. Sokolovska Street, Russia. Pity they are not going to play in one group. That would have been curious imitation game. Such a passion. Let's go to another bar. Hooters! Yes, the world famous barnet has its representative in Moscow. We despise sexism, but guys more than welcomed here. Alcohol, food, sports, dances, parties and brilliant waitresses. Has it become hotter? Let's raise a degree more. Going to the northeast of the Moscow region, we can find Cristiano Ronaldo and Leo Messi in half an hour between them. Team Portugal prepares to the World Cup in the village Kratovo, 10 Bauman Street. And Argentina trains in Bronze Area, 44 Moskvaretska Street. Will they communicate somehow? I don't know. But here it is a really high voltage. Still no sexism. Back to Moscow. One of the central streets here is called Abad. It was and still is an important culture point. For example, 60s and 70s. Everybody here worshipped board singer Bulata Kujava. Here is a monument to him. 
he was the one who promoted mind changes at that time people. His songs were like 19th century romances, simplified to be played with only guitar and sang without opera tenor. Akujava has given words to the feelings of that time, like Bob Dylan in US, to only without drugs. If we're gonna choose the symbol of Moscow, you know, I'll vote for him. Other two teams will live far from each other, but they are kind of eternal rivals and one of the World Cup favorites. Deutschmannschaft prepares its tactics at the CSK sports base, living in Vatutniki Hotel. L'Equipe Française will do the same a little farther from Moscow, living in the Hilton Garden in the Kostrova village, they are training at the Glebovitz Stadium near there. In Moscow there are three main airports – Domodedovo, Sheremetyevo, Vnukovo, and the fourth one – Astafyevo. Two more teams living near Moscow are Tunisia and the Islamic Republic Iran. And if the first of them, the descendants of the Carthaginians, are living in the Imperial Park Hotel in Ragoshkina village, the Iranian team is staying much closer to the Russian capital, in Bakovka, at the training camp of the current Russian champion Lokomotiv. Will it help Persian descendants? We'll see. Now back to Moscow. Another bar asks you to find it. Well, maybe there are some other reasons, but this place is called Hidden. Spoiler, it is on 6-5 Kamergersky Lane. There you'll find a long cocktail list that offers you North, Suomezaur, East, Singapore Sling, South, Jungle Boat, and West, Clover Club. All of it is accompanied with the Cheshire Cat. Of course, there are more offers, but these seem the most curious. Lushniki is not the only area in Moscow that holds the World Cup. Another stadium is called Atkritie. Actually, it belongs to the football club Spartak, and it was built in 2014 and has already hosted the Confederation Cup. It has a capacity a little more than 45,000 people. Words, words, words. No, I'm not Hamlet. It's a vocabulary part. First word, home, hill. The second word, stolitsa, capital. The third word, direkta, village. Fourth word, напряжение, voltage. And the fifth word, открытие, opening. They say the city that never sleeps, like, you know. Uh, this summer one team, one national football team will be king of the hill, top of the list, A number one, you know, like in that song. In other videos we'll tell you about the rest of the whole cities, that will be soon. See you!